Good afternoon beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Chantelle and in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly how I achieved this eye look. Um, I have decided to start off a new series using the Revolution Relove mini palettes. I did unbox this in one of my hauls recently and I did ask you guys if you'd be interested to see a series of me reviewing each one of the mini palettes each week. A few of you did leave a comment down below saying you would be interested to see that so I decided to go ahead and pick up majority of these palettes and um, review each palette with a different look each week on a Sunday. So this is the first one and this is the first palette and it's called Achieve. It looks like this. So if you guys would like to see exactly how I created this look then please do keep watching. So jumping straight in as per usual, I'm going to go into that lightest shade right there and I'm going to put that all over my eyes as my transitional shade and also to set, to set the primer. Um, the primer that I used as usual as always is the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base Primer in Medium Deep and as per usual everything that I've used in this video will be listed down below in the description box. I decided to go into that top brown shade and I'm going to put that in the outer corners of my eyes as well as just in the crease but above the crease really because I have slightly hooded eyes and I want you to be able to see that colour. So I literally just stamp it on. As you're seeing guys this shade is super pigmented right I love these little eyeshadow palettes they are small so great for travel. Um, also, it's super pigmented as I have said, great quality and only £3. Going into the darkest shade in the pan, I decided that I wanted um, the outer corners to be a little bit darker. So I've literally taken a small amount as you're about to see putting it in the outer corners and then moving it slightly into the crease but yeah I just wanted a lot more depth so that when it comes to smoke it out it could look really smoky. Once again, going into that light matte shade, I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go around the edge of all that eyeshadow that I've just put down just to take away the harsh edges and to kind of smoke it out further. Um, in doing this, I do lose some of the, the pigmentation from the dark brown um, eyeshadow, so I then go back in and re-intensify and then I go up and down building and blending until I'm happy with the blend. I decided after looking at how it was going that I wanted to take that dark brown colour um, further into the inner eyes. I just thought it looked better so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to go over it with all the different colours just to blend it in. Drop a comment down below guys if you've ever used any of these Relove eyeshadow palettes and if so which ones and how you found working with them. So going in with the lightest shimmer shade in the palette I decided to just go straight in with it. I didn't want to do a cut crease. This shimmer shade, I actually find out now that it's better to use my finger with it, but um, I didn't actually want to go in with my finger because I wanted it quite precise. So I decided to put down the NYX glitter glue. And as you're seeing, I just used my fingers just to tap it into place as to where I wanted it. And as you're seeing now, the color is amazing. Just look at that pigment. All it needed was the glitter glue.
once I finish putting down this shade I then pick up the other brush um, that I used the first brush that I used with no extra product just to blend in the edge that line I didn't want like a harsh line between the shimmer shade and that dark brown slash black on the outer corner and here's me about to just give you a close-up as to how it's turning out and what it looks like so after putting down the rest of my base makeup as well as throwing on some lashes I'm back and I'm going to go into that darkest shade again and I'm going to pull it quite close to that lash line. Um, yeah I think I do actually go in with my MAC eyeliner again as well. I'm not sure whether or not I show it but I definitely do put that down. I then take a fluffy flat brush just to go underneath there and to kind of buff it out a little bit so that there's no harsh lines down there either. I'm sure I do put down some black eyeliner in this. Okay, there you go. There's the black eyeliner. I then go over it afterwards. I must have forgotten to put the eyeliner down and then just remembered not forgetting about the inner corner highlight I then go into that silver shade and use that but once putting it on I realized I liked it so much that I actually brought it down onto the lower lash line a little bit as well up into the um, start of the front of my eye <laughs> and this um, this shimmer shade worked perfect without the glitter primer so I didn't need to put any of that down I then go off camera and complete my lips and as per the usual, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. I tried to cover up my eyes as best as I could because I didn't want the setting spray um, to ruin the eyeshadow. So now that everything's finished, I give you one final kind of close up so that you can see exactly what everything looks like and that's the finished look guys. Right guys, so as you can see, this is the finished look and I thought, as per usual, I would jump on, talk a little bit about the look, the palette and generally just round up the video as I usually do. Right, so first things first, the look. I actually do like the way that this look has turned out, minus the eyelashes. Um, I did try one of the bigger P. Louise eyelashes and I don't know, I'm not used to having such big eyelashes on my face so they do feel a little bit heavy but we're not here about the lashes, we're here about the actual palette and the look. So yeah, I do actually like the way that this look has turned out, although in the palette I used this kind of, um, let's open it up. I used this kind of gold shimmery shade all over the lid and it has actually come out silver. There's absolutely no hint of gold whatsoever so I don't know if that's down to um, my, I don't know whether or not that's down to my skin tone which has made it come out that way or if it's just that light a gold that it does sharper silver, who knows. But anyway, I really do like the palette as well they were pigmented this shimmer shade i did have to put down a um a glitter primer first you would have seen me do that um because this just wasn't showing up this one it didn't need the primer i used that in the inner corners and i just thought that that rounded it up nicely so yeah guys this is just a, a really nice easy eyeshadow palette as they all are for like one or two different looks. In a nutshell, I do actually like the way the look did turn out. Please feel free to drop your comments down below what you thought of this look, whether or not you like it, whether or not you would have done something different. I'm always interested to hear you guys' feedback. Um, moving on to the palette, it is a really nice palette. You can either do like a soft glam look by just using the browns and softening it, softening it out for an everyday look or you can glam it up by using the two shimmer shades in there and taking it from daytime to nighttime. Oh and this shade here, I instinctively thought it was black but it's not, excuse the nails guys, it's like a really 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 dark brown. 
it's not actually black although it does kind of look black on the camera I don't know in the pan it looks really really dark brown on the eye it comes up really dark brown but here I'm not so sure anyway <laughs> whatever it is it really works well it did deepen out the um, the outer v's of my eyes really nicely the pigmentation was there apart from when i wanted to use this light color um i didn't try it with just the finger i wanted to use the brush so i did have to go in with the nyx glitter primer as you had seen which is no problem really not to me and since using that the pigment is definitely there so i would definitely recommend it and for three pounds you really can't go wrong and not only um, is this already a still for three pounds but um, a lady called Lucy Stevenson I follow her on YouTube and I'm also one of her patrons in her group and she has said that um, I can give out her code which is loose 20 that gives you 20% off of the revolution website um, excluding sell items obviously and now she's informed me that it's kind of international I think you can use it in Australia and America as well as the UK I'm not 100% sure I will definitely link everything down down in the description box below if you're interested but yeah for three pound this is definitely a steal feel free to drop your comments down below like I said right especially if you have this palette how you found working with the palette right I really really want to know right guys if you made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate each and every one of you if i could ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click on the little notification bell beside it and then click all so you never miss another upload from me and while you're down there if i could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button it really does help me and my channel out and i really do appreciate it until next time guys have a beautifully blessed day and i'll see you again soon bye for now